Good evening, welcome to Whaler Sports TV. Dick Herman, I'm back at the Witness Protection Program. They let me back on the island, so I'm here. Disappointed. And, uh, and I have this cane, but this cane can actually shoot down a plane from, from 500 yards, so so it's a, uh, I have to protect myself. They, they, had me, uh, they had me hit out in a, in a house up in the, uh, the big city, but all joking aside, my knee feels good. Thanks everybody for asking, and how have you been, Paula? I've missed you terribly. I've decided that I'm not good at talking out loud to myself. It's been a painful <laughs> few weeks without you, so welcome back. Well, I had I had a Dick Herman uh, photo that I was going to plop up here in the chair next to you if I couldn't make it today, and you could have talked to the photo. I was getting close to doing that. I was getting <laughs> desperate, but welcome back. Well, we're so excited about getting back. We're, we're doing a JV girls uh, soccer game. I think it's the first time we ever did a JV girls soccer game. We're excited about that. Giving Raph a little... Uh, uh, Showing here of his team. He's very proud of his team. They're coming in at 6-3-2. and two. That's a nice record and a good feeder system for the varsity. Absolutely. And, you know, I think maybe we should be trying to do this a little bit more, perhaps highlight JV football. There's so many great programs that you can only fit in so many games per week. Boy, you know, we don't pick and choose the games we do so much as we have to go with the schedule, you know. we it, And it's just, you know, Gina was available to shoot today, you're available, I'm available, so we're shooting today. It just happened to be that the JV girls are on the schedule and they score by offsides, calling it back. Um, and we are playing today... Cape Cod Academy. Cape Cod Academy. So the JV girls team, to bring everybody up to speed, is coached by Rafael Osona, um, who has worked under and with Rafi, uh, Rafael. Jorge Roja, who was the former men's varsity coach, he's worked alongside Phil Taylor. He's done a, a great job with this program, Dick. They are uh, six wins, three losses, and two non-league um, for the season. So we want to uh, congratulate him on that, and hopefully we're going to see some good soccer today. Yeah, it's, it's very exciting and uh, to be here. I, I assume the, uh, the teams play the 40-minute halves. The ball huh. boy's head just spun like a screech owl. He's thinking, I'm seeing him again. There he is. <laughs> yes, he's back. He's, but the uh, the games change. You go from varsity to JVs. You go from boys to girls. But the ball boy is the same. Look at him right here. We love him. He's got these nice green gloves. The youngest brand again. And his sister Waverly is playing on this team today. Uh, we want to acknowledge who we have in the goal. And forgive us if we get names and numbers wrong. But Tamoy Marner is number 23. She's the goalkeeper. So as I'm looking at these numbers, Dick, of grade, fill me in. Uh, JV can start at the eighth grade. Is they, that right? They, they can, yes. Yes, they can. And, and, uh, and when did that happen? I'm going to say four or five years, yeah. Can the boys do that too? The boys can do, yeah. The JV... Uh, in the all J sports? In all sports, yeah. The really? JV, the JV football that. the JV football team has a uh, slew of eighth graders on it. Yeah. So, no kidding. Yeah. I don't remember that when I was coaching. As a matter of fact, I know for a fact I could, couldn't... Um, eighth graders couldn't partake in the uh, Well, the old rule JV was... University. The old rule was... The principal. The principal had a be ahead of both schools and I think when you left coaching they they uh, they followed that rule somewhat and there were some eighth graders competing in gymnastics here for a while but then it, then it turned around with, with Cyrus Pierce got its own principal and then then they couldn't join but uh, I think I think the way the the, the, the rule leads is 19. She scored already. Oh, oh she almost got oh, another one. Almost. Uh, I say she scored already. She scored, but it was called back. The way it reads now is an eighth grader could not play for the varsity, but they'll, they'll let him play for JVs. And I think they'll let him play for the JVs at the smaller schools that cannot field three teams. Like a, uh, a Lexington would have a varsity soccer a JV soccer and an 8th grade soccer because they have enough kids. Oh, interesting. I think I'm understanding that right now. Uh, so for those of you just tuning in, this is the JV ladies soccer game on a beautiful day. By the way, Dick, since you've been gone, take a guess. The blank has not been fixed. <laughs> Two seconds. The and clock. Go. Correct. Our <laughs> scoreboard has not been fixed. 
all clock scoreboard. It's all tied into one there. That was another thing I was missing you for was your watch. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew what time it was. Um, so let's acknowledge some of the players that we have in this game. Number 41, who's hustling for the ball right now, Philomena Topham. She is in eighth grade. Um, in goal, we have Tamoy Marner, number 23. Waiting to go in the game is Senec Seneca Weber, number two, who's a sophomore. Beautiful girl standing wow. to my left. She looks like a model. She looks like a model, and um, but we don't want her acting like a model out there. We <laughs> no, want her being aggressive, scrappy, and getting a goal. Um, Juliana. And she's going in. She's going in for Juliana Bouchard, number 21, who's a sophomore. God, this makes me feel old because I'm recognizing these last names from from kids I had in gymnastics. How does that happen? I don't know. It's You're a generation ahead of me. How does that happen? <laughs> Well, the flip side of this game, Paul, which is kind of sad, is that this is Cape Cod Academy's varsity team. Wow. What? Yes. Now, how, I, Cape Cod Academy has to yes, play. Yes, Bill said that yesterday. Yeah, Cape Cod Academy has to play just one team. Sometimes they'll go against the varsity. Nantucket naturally has the JV, so they're going against their JVs, but they could line up. They could line up playing a varsity <gasps> team at one point. Wow, number 27. Let's acknowledge that. That was Waverly Brannigan, a freshman, and that looked to be a goal. Yep, they're going to count that one. Waverly Brannigan, whose brother is... Are you all excited your sister just scored the goal? Any comments? Congratulations to Waverly Brannigan. That was beautiful. She just drilled that right up the midi, mid line there and uh, brought it home. Well done. Midfield, excuse me. That goal was brought to us by our new sponsor who came aboard, Future Pools of Nantucket. Use less chemicals and your pool is days, not months, great for small yards too. I didn't write that. I just read it. That's all. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm wrapping my head around it, but we'll, we'll no, just... No, no. I think We're going to have to get that rewritten before I read it again. Um, I think you need to read it again with a little more emphasis on certain words. I um, just said I didn't write it. I only read it. You, you, but we're, we, you've been away for a couple of weeks. We'll, uh, all is forgiven. But right we're now we're watching Nantucket. We're very happy for future pools of Nantucket. All right. Uh, number 20, I want to say that's, no, oh, uh, there's our girl Seneca Weber in on the front line in the right trying to cross it over to number 22. And forgive me for having to look at these numbers, but I'm not certain who's who. Oh, and that's Ruby Dupont, who's a freshman. She plays in the varsity level. She is a machine, that girl. Um, we covered her earlier in the season. I, if you recall, we I think we both gave her a gold star. She's got game. Yeah. She's, she's so some of these. So, so what you're saying then is some of these uh, girls out here that are on the JVs have, do have some varsity game experience, and so that uh, well, I know that, that Ruby makes it does. much more competitive than uh, absolutely. That. And that was Bella Cotone, number 47, the freshman who just took that header at the midi midi line, number 34, crossing it in for Nantucket. That's Emerson Milne, her brother Jackson, I believe, um, plays for the varsity boys soccer team. Nice drop back. You can see this uh, number eight for Cape Cod. She's got some good skills. I, I watched it coming up. Nice. She, she, what impressed me about her, she brought the ball all the way up. Never took, never took her eyes off the field and her players. She, but she knew where the ball was at her feet. To me, that's a sign of a good player, knowing that the ball's in, not, not looking down at it. I, what do they call those feet? Sort of like booby ducks <laughs> on those birds? <laughs> I mean, if I, was, if I was playing soccer, I'd be looking at the ball 99% of the time. And you'd be in trouble. <laughs> Number 34, trying to cross it over to Waverly Brannigan. Um, let's see who else we want to acknowledge in this back line. Number 41 is oh, Philomena Topham. We already, she looks like a Topham. She Tall, does. athletic looking. Yes, I bet you that's, uh, I'm going to take a wild guess and say... Joe's her dad. Joe's uh, dad. And Anne. Right? Yep. Yeah. I don't know Joe. I know Anne. She's lovely. Number 50. Anne's, Anne's tall also, right? She is. She is. Uh, 50. Oh, that's Madison Iller. Oh, my God. That's Jen Iller, who's on our school committee's All right. uh, daughter. 
I had Jen in gymnastics. She's one of my favorite people. If you're listening to this, Jen, on the island. Not because she bought a house for me, but because <laughs> I, I absolutely adore her, Chris, the kids. And she does so much for this community. Goes Madison. Nice touch, trying to drop it back. Ooh, getting a little physical over there in the corner. You know, it was disappointing, I thought, Dick. I have to say this on the air while you were gone. Martha's Vineyard, the boys and the girls went to the vineyard. I was on the boat going to the Patriots game. Yeah. The day they lost. Oh, dear. To, uh, almost said to Cam, Cam Newton, Carolina, thank you. Uh, but what a great game. But at any rate, I was on the boat to and fro, and they didn't have a team bus going over to the vineyard, and there wasn't a whole lot of parents going. I was pretty surprised yeah, it's, by that. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. The, it's like hell over there, isn't it? It's it's yeah, it's <laughs> tough going. <laughs> it's tough going to the face. Now, well, you know, two points there. The entire the, you know, they're trying to get away from the vineyard football game as being the big weekend by making it a homecoming weekend, and so they right. send, they switch off, the, and they send the soccer. I think there was probably two soccer and a field hockey team on on the boat that day. Just, no, it was, it was boy, uh, I didn't see field hockey, it oh, was on a Sunday morning. Right. Well, so Sunday the two morning. soccer teams went over, mm -hmm. and ne next year the Vineyard two soccer teams. So switch, and that's nice, keeping that rivalry up. But, you know, it's, it's, it's not the same, you know, it, it, they, they want it to be like the, the, the Island Cup of soccer, and it's, you, you just don't get up for it. And, you know, there's a lot of other things going on. As you were going, you were going to the Patriots game, and there's certainly, right. there's certainly a ton of people who, who, who Watching the Patriots game that afternoon, whether they went to the game like you or they sitting in their living room like me, watching it on the TV. I'd like to mention some of our fine sponsors here. Sun Island Fuel, Conyon and Coleman Insurance, Don Allen Auto Center, Harbor Fuel, Island Lumber, Island Pharmacy, Kitty Murtaugh, the Downey Flake, Joe Rapaki CPA, the Islander Package Store, the Sea Grill, the Boys and Girls Club, Steamship Authority, the Beauty Bar, Jewelers Gallery, Stover Engineering, Rick's Paint and Maintenance, Cam Appliance, the Visitor Center, JB Drywall, Expresso to Go, Fast Forward, Nantucket Seafood, Hawthorne House, Rider Electric, Outdoor Power, Billy Built Automotive, Cottage and Castle, some of our fine sponsors here on Willis Sports TV. You know, I've been watching Motor down this um, right, right hand side, Ava Mosscrop, number 40. She's only in eighth grade. There she is over on the other side, but watch her. She, she's got speed and legs. She did a nice um, give and go up to number 22. Again, forgive me for learning these names right now. We'll have a quiz at halftime, Dick, see how quickly you're taking these names. In. That's Ruby <laughs> DuPont. Okay, Ruby DuPont, 22, number two, Seneca Weber, and we've got Ava Mosscrop over there. Now it's starting to kind of sink in. Well, Nantucket uh, is certainly nice uh, keeping all the pressure down this end. The, the uh, and Cape Cod Academy has hardly got it up this this area on once, and not, nowhere near a shot on goal. And you were saying that this is Cape Cod Academy. This is this is, this is it. Not, this not is not to belittle them by any chance. No, but, I mean ten. Wow. And I think I mean I'm looking over at the bench. They got nobody on the bench. Uh, somebody. Right. The referee said they had 10 people, so that means they're, they're playing a, a man down the whole game. I don't know, what's what's the attackers playing with 10 too, I don't know. So Cape Cod Academy is a charter school? I always ask these questions. Private school. Private school, okay. Actually, uh, my uh, niece and grand, nephew? Uh, grandkids go there. My uh, my son Peter's uh, twins, Alex and I. And oh, excuse me, why are they not on the soccer team? The, what are well, they doing? They're, they're only in the fourth grade. All but, right, uh, all right. On your... Uh, Anya is a great athlete. Maybe maybe I'll be watching her. Oh, you know play they're both going to be years. athletes. Yeah, with yeah. Peter as their father, say no more. <laughs> so uh, anybody over at Cape Cod Academy watching this game, say hello to uh, Alex and Anya Herman when you see them. Thank God it wasn't the Dilipawas. <laughs> That's a whole other story. Yeah, we, we'll we'll save that for the second half when we're maybe talking about Trump. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God. Lord! Twenty. Oh, oh, great save there! Really good save. Big save there. Keeping that one out. Another shot chipped away by Waverly Brannigan, number twenty-seven, whose father just happens to be the Whaler Varsity coach. And the Whaler Varsity. Uh, I can get my schedule out and double check it, but the Will of Varsity is probably away today. The boys they are traveling over to play Cape Cod. That's the way it usually works. When the girls are at home, the boys are away, and they, they switch off that. Oh, a nice, nice corner. cross Ooh. by our girl Seneca Weber. 
Seneca had a nice corner there, put it right where she wanted it. The uh, Cape Cod Academy girl made a good play, came out and took it off her body to keep it going th all the way through. She's tall, but she's fast. What a deep kick she had. Nice job. Moss Carp trying to keep it in. Back up to Waverly. They connect well. Guarantee these kids played together in the um, soccer league prior to coming aboard the uh, JV program. Oh, yeah. I yeah. mean, speaking of that program, what a strong feeder program that is. I mean, you've got, what is it, like over 200 kids playing that program uh, spring and fall it's just that's, incredible that's the key to any and all sports is you know getting the uh, kids playing at a younger age it's very very difficult you know and w we've seen it we've seen kids commit to high school that have played once oh, oh Waverly oh. Brannigan number two well done but you know what Number 22, Ruby DuPont. She gets gold star on that. That cross that she did from that corner was so deep as those two high five one another. So deep, so spot on, right in front of the uh, the net. That was brilliant. Well done. So Waverly's got herself two goals here already. We've played about uh, 15 minutes of the first half. God, I remember when Waverly was born. <laughs> <laughs> and she's had just a little bit of time up at the the uh, varsity level. But her and Ruby DuPont, those two are going to be strong forwards for the next, uh, you know, three years, three, four years. Bravely trying to get it over to DuPont. I like that lineup. Weber, DuPont, Brannigan, and number 34, Emerson Milne. So it's like half and half. Some of these kids have brothers that play on the uh, varsity team, Dick, or have played at the varsity level. Yeah. Here comes Weber. She's my new girl. All right, Clemson. Give it to me. Clemson. Give me, give me the bad Clemson. news. Clemson. Losing to Syracuse. Clemson. Unbelievable. Painful. Painful. Did you hear me sobbing in the middle <laughs> of the night? Here's the deal. I you missed know, the game. They were playing Saturday. At the wheeling, at the wheeling wall you were all day. Yes, my head in my hand. And then I texted my daughter and, and she broke the news. I was like, what? Syracuse, I don't even think they were seated. They were uh, a 24 point underdog. Well, I wish I had a bookie. Oh, so God. Good God. Well, you know what? They lost to Penn last year. I don't know if you recall that happening. Or Pitt. It was Pitt, excuse me. And in a big way, and nobody thought that Pitt would beat them. So maybe they got that out of their system right now. I'm still, I, as, as the Beatles would say, I'm still a believer. Well, yeah, well, someone said that that probably takes them out of the race for the national championship. But no, you just pointed no. out that they lost one early last year right. mid-season and, and got it going. So Yeah, they still have a great record. They can, uh, they can get it going. I mean... When you, when you get that first loss, and then you, you see seven or eight or nine teams without a loss, then you, you figure you're out of it. But, you know, all of a sudden, an upset here, an upset there, and all of a sudden, everybody has a loss. So it all, it all opens up again. And that's Thank what they you. Have, that's you what redeemed they have, yourself. That's what they have to uh, wish happens. So we got a change in the guards here. Juliet and Bashard coming in. Waverly Brannigan getting a break. Ruby DuPont getting a little bit of air time. Uh, Madison Iller, well done. Seneca Weber, awesome job. And Dick, what do you have in your little uh, bag of tricks over here? We have portion of this game brought to us by Island Lumber. Rock solid, wheel of pride. From cell to roof, we've got you covered. Island Lumber. And it wasn't the same with the sponsors without you. Gino just doesn't have, no offense, the right affect no. or touch or rhythm. I mean, you just, it, it kind of rolls off your tongue. It was very stilted and just not the same. <laughs> just want to point that out. That doesn't mean we don't want them. Right. We, we need them. We, we need, need the sponsors, yeah. And we need Dick. Uh, have you seen all those stickers around town <laughs> on cars? We need Dick. We need, we need Mr. Herman. <laughs> Let's change it to that. <laughs> yeah, we need Mr. Herman. <laughs> It sounds too political the other way. The, yeah, we don't mean Dick Cheney. We need Mr. Herman. It just wasn't the same. Oh, Waverly Brannigan's back in there already. That was quick. Quick change. Number 46 trying to break up the action. That's Evelyn Fye. 
Evelyn is one of four children, absolutely adore her mom, Jackie, who's Biz and Molly's kindergarten teacher, but what an athletic family. They're, they're really into hockey, and uh, her sister plays hockey at Tabor. Oh, wow. And is looking at a full ride at Boston College to play D1 hockey Unbelievable. next year. Unbelievable. Isn't that great? Ava Mosscrop feeding it up, up to Brannigan. Just looking to see who's open. See, there goes Ava, nice running. 40s have Bella Couton. I'm like in a time warp. This, this can't, this is like watching my own children, only they're not. Yeah. Incredible. We're 45 making its way up. So yes, that Clemson loss was, was painful. And the Patriots loss to Carolina. Carolina, that was, that was, well, both their, both their losses this year were tough. I mean, Kansas right. City sort of took it to them, but right. uh, Carolina, they, they just, Four uh, they seconds just, left. They just gave it away. I uh, lost my voice from yelling at, but I made the Jumbotron twice. <laughs> Now, what did you have to do to make the jumbo throne? I was I, just kind of like, I don't know, you know, it was Jimi Hendrix they were playing, and I was kind of moving around. Oh. And, and then I looked up and I... Shimmy and the shaking to the music, was that it? It was kind of all along, along the watchtower. It wasn't really shaking, but uh, you got to dance to all that stuff. <laughs> they did take my wallet, though, and I did not get it back. <laughs> because they measure your wallet. And mine was like two inches over, and so they had me empty my wallet, all my things into a plastic bag, and I had to put my wallet down behind a car by a tire where these, it, of course it was gone. And I said, can I keep my wallet empty? I mean, they wouldn't let me. Is that right? I That's wild. Yeah. They wouldn't even let my, my uh, you know, I went with the people I played tennis with, they wouldn't let one of them hold onto the wallet. I, they measure it, they have a little thing. And the first gentleman let me go through with it. He said, oh, you're fine, just, you know, plastic bag. And, and the, the second guard said, no, it's, uh, it's too long. I, I never knew. I didn't I, realize I, that's, it was, I, yeah. that's, that's astonishing. That's the first time I ever heard something like that. I mean, like, I, yeah. I, can see, I, I, I can see a backpack and stuff like that. You always right. see stuff like that. Oh, what hustle. How, wow. times have, how times have changed. When I was... Uh, Great. When hustle. I was a teenager, we were sneaking into Wonderland. You know what Wonderland is? A the racetrack that was Amy and McCa McGa McGavity. I just want right. to acknowledge yeah. that. Great run. Right. Wonderland, is that the, the, the dog, dog track? It's the yes. dog track. It's closed down. I've we never were, been to that. We were, like, we were like 19, and, and I, wasn't a, I wasn't a big uh, better on those types of things, but you know, right. some of the guys were going over there, so we, we me especially, always, you know, if you buy a six pack before you go in, it's it's cheaper than buying them this when you're a, in this there. This is a family channel that's gone downhill <laughs> rapidly today. So, I mean, so I, wow. <laughs> I'm walking in, I'm walking in with my, my six pack sort of under my arm, figuring nobody would see it. And the guy says to me, uh, oh, you can't go in there with that. You know, what, what, you, oh, what am I gonna do? He said, well, you gotta bring it over to that office here. So I brought it over to the office here and the guy says, what's, what's, your name, what's the name on that? And I said, Schlitz. I was gonna he say, says, no, what's your name? I said, Herman. So he wrote Herman on it. Herman Schlitz. So after the, uh, <laughs> after, the, after the races were over and we were leaving, I went back to the office, I went in there, and I said, uh, Herman, and he nice. hands me my six pack back. <gasps> oh, oh right that was Evelyn legs. Fye, awesome. Right through her legs. Yeah. And I was just, we were just talking about how I thought it What a deep kick Evelyn Fye pulled off. Well done, Evelyn, they see her mom on the other side. Um, I was going to say, was it Schlitz? Something told me it Schlitz, was. Schlitz, yeah. yeah. The, beer, the beer of the yeah, 50s. <laughs> Unbelievable. What was their motto, Dick? Schlitz. If you're out of beer, is that the one? Yeah. You're out of Schlitz? You're out of Schlitz, yeah. yeah. Right. How about G Ganser was my favorite ad. That was Ganser. That was the made. Narragansett? Narragansett was made. It was made in uh, right, a little town right near Whistler. I forget the name of the town. I like it was Rhode Island. But, Narragansett, uh, Rhode Island. Yeah, that's what I thought. But no. it was they had a, they had a brewery, they had a oh. brewery in Massachusetts. Anybody remember that one? No. no. Hey neighbor, have a Gansett. 
Amy, <laughs> Amy <laughs> McAvity. <laughs> I hope I say her last name right. McAvity. I did a well, Mc, when I was in the McAvity. hospital, Paula, and I was waiting for calls from uh, from you that never came. I did a lot of contemplating. I, was praying, praying. <laughs> I did go to church. I saw Maureen. <laughs> you were contemplating these things. I was contemplating, and uh, I said, "What, what am I going to talk about?" When I get and this back is the best you can come up with with That's, Schlitz? Well, I'm not. I'm only following Gino's lead right. here. He's giving it to me. Philomena Toppin. You're giving it to me. With there you taking go. Taking away your wallet for crying out loud. Well, I'll tell you about the beer in a second. Philomena Toppin, number 41. Well done. But Amy Mac Maccabee. I hope I say her last name right. Maccabee. Maccabee. Number 35. 35. She has got game as well. I like what I see with her. Ava. Ava with the uh, number 40 get the, that last goal? Nope. It was Amy. Ma Aim. This M C A B E E T Y Maccabee. Mac Maccabee. Yeah, Maccabee. Okay, Mac so. And we apologize for getting your name wrong. This got, is new to us. Uh, Waverly's got two goals, and uh, Amy's got one. But you know, they're just being well, well. Um, they're, they're well disciplined on this field, Dick, and the feeders from the, the um, defenders, the the. Um, the sweepers in the back are feeding it right up to that midi line, right up to the front line. So they're just doing a really nice job of um, synchronizing their game here. Look what I did remember to oh. bring. I love oh. that. Have Gino get a shot of that. This, this, we, thought we, we thought we'd see Paige today, but Paige is with the varsity. But well, uh, we'll see power her and protection with Paige. Hopefully we'll see her next week. And I sat with her on the boat and had a great chat with her. And uh, we were talking college. Um, you know, I was asking her if she'd want to, you know, pursue being a goalkeeper in college, and she was saying maybe at a D2 or D3 school, and so hopefully she will. That's, that's interesting. Very interesting. Uh, one last thing, Wiedermann's beer, I just want to give them a plug. Wiedermann's beer? <laughs> Six, <laughs> nine. You're blaming, you're blaming me, and you keep bringing it up. Six, nine, nine. 99 a case at Macy's on Clout Map. Best deal. Here's the deal, though. Since it was six ninety nine, you'd have to drink like fifteen of them before yeah, you even remotely. One percent, one percent alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> Wiedemann's, best deal going. Number thirty five, motoring up there. That's Amy McAvey. Amy Mac. Deep kick. I'm going to have to say we're well more than halfway through this first half. To According to my timekeeping, but the official man is out there in the field. Oh, there he we is. Won't get, we the won't ref. get the time as effective uh, uh, as we usually do because in the JVs you only have uh, one official. And is it 35 so minutes or is it 40? It's 40 as far as I know. We can double check with that at halftime and find out. Nice cross by Juliana Bouchard. I like what I see with these girls. You know, the varsity program is just going to stay strong. Emerson Mill, nice job. Man on, number 45, doing nice coverage there, dropping back. Next Tuesday on my schedule here, Paula and Gino, we have the girls home. Tuesday against Falmouth Academy and Thursday against Sturgis Charter. All right, so we're attached at the hip next week. Sturgis Square. I'm trying to see if they played them already this year once. That's Quinn LeBrecht, number 38. Nice hustle by Quinn. 45. You hear Coach Raphael saying touch, touch, touch. Right. Make that ball your best friend. Look at Ava Mosscroft. God, is she scrappy out there. I love it. Oh, and a goal. Oh, they're on the board. Wow. Ava gave it everything trying trying to break that up, but it was just her alone trying to cover that. That was yeah, a they haven't Yeah, uh, they haven't got too many down there, but uh, they worked out with uh, that one. And uh, so that makes uh, Nantucket's lead cut. Three to one. Okay. Number 45, Dick, I don't have on my list. Do you have a different list than I have? Uh, I should have the same one, and I don't yeah. see a 45 so either. He said he was going to add a couple. 
Right. But he, uh, he didn't add a 45. No. Yeah, it would just be nice to acknowledge who this girl is. Raphael, who's number 45? 45? Yeah. Right here? Yes. Rennie Waddell. Rennie Waddell. Okay, we just don't have her on our list. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. No, she's at 40. She's listed as 44. Oh, she's listed as 44. That's what it is. Okay. Thank you. So Rennie Waddell, Waddell is number 45. Got it. That makes sense. It's like the ref has never left his spot on the soccer field. Can we just get a shot of him? Look at him. He stays right in the middle of the action. Though. I get exhausted looking at him. Just, no, he doesn't. He doesn't say much, but he, he whistles a lot. I, I get here first, and I park the truck. He come over and start talking. Very pleasant guy and he, oh, he's he kind of hung around he talked sports with us when you got here yeah very very uh, knowledgeable guy and a very pleasant guy yeah and he, he does a lot of sports he does a lot of sports he does but he, yeah but he said he told me that his butt on his bucket list was to go to a game at death valley i heard him say that too yeah, yeah. so why don't you uh, set it up get oh, the great let me get get bring four, him with get me four tickets and you bring him along yeah. <laughs> <Biz and> molly <laughs> <laughs> you biz molly in the room <laughs> Oh my god. That's a great, that's a great idea. Oh, what let's a, put that what a, out What an outing. What an outing that would be. What an outing. I think you I'll could, pass. You could, hire, you could hire Gino as your driver. Gino likes to drive. He'll drive you right down there. Oh, we fly down, right down. into Greenville. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm hoping I can get to a game. Biz did go to one of the games. She went to the, um, oh, I can't remember. Oh, uh, FSU she went to. Is it FSU? Thank yeah, I think it was FSU. Take it easy. Speaking of FSU, James Winston is doing unbelievable in the pros, as is my man Deshaun Watson. And look at Watson. Amy with that goal. Wow. Is that her hat trick? Yep. Watson. No, it's not a, not a hat trick. It's number two for her, but she's got oh, game. Oh, Amy, I'm sorry. Amy Mack, number 35. Amy's got two and Waverly's got right. two. All right. They're Amy's both, got game. Both of them are fighting for the hat trick. Yep. Both of them are fighting for the hat trick. I'd like to mention some more of our fine sponsors here. Nantucket Ice, Nantucket Electrical Contractors, Joe Rapaki CPA, Killen Real Estate, Martin Bork Painting, Cowboys Meat Market, Census Rubbish Removal, Nantucket Health Department, Sushi by Yoshi, Randy Alford Heating and Cooling, Island Fencing, Island Carpets, Valero and Sons, Ladybird Lingerie, Scrimshaw Gallery, Fawcett Man Plumbing and Heating, Nantucket Estate Jewelry and Fine Arts, the NRTA, Ride the Wave, The Boathouse, Fairgrounds Restaurant, Pumpkin Pond Farm, Something Natural, Highland Flooring, Champion Rentals, Island Variety, Sherbin Management, The Homestead, Nantucket That's Health Club. We thank these fine sponsors for bringing you portions of today's game. Bella Catone playing beautiful and defensive back position. Um, just, I don't know if you caught what she got on the air, but that was beautiful the way she set that up. Fed that up to Amy, Mac, and Quinn Lebrecht. Nice job. I missed uh, I missed uh, going to the football game this week, and actually I missed the last three weekends with my uh, new knee. But uh, the Tucket uh, suffered their first loss. They're five and one now. Oh, they did. Was it Mash Mashby? Uh, Mashby. Uh, the Tucket gave Mashby its only loss last year. Mashby won the division, won the Super Bowl with a twelve and one overall record. The Tucket beat them, but Mashby. Return the favor this year by knocking off Nantucket. Hopefully Nantucket uh, can follow in the footsteps of Mashby and get hot, because they probably will meet down the road again. I would assume that they, they will, but Nantucket will make the playoffs. I would yeah, assume, they're correct? definitely in the yeah. playoffs. Yeah, yeah that's they're, what I Actually, think. yeah, they, right now they're the two seed. Mm -hmm. uh, they got the homecoming game this week against Holbrook, which they'll uh, easily handle. So they're going to the playoffs with a 6-1 record. And probably uh, the two seed, yeah. Wow, nice hustle by Juliana Bichat. I don't know if you caught that. Little physicality there in the side, but well done. Um, Holbrook's coming here. That's Friday night? Saturday. Saturday. I've got to come to a game. Uh, homecoming weekend. Uh, is this weekend? Is this weekend, yeah. Everybody, uh, everybody be at home. Uh, boys and girls soccer. Uh, field hockey, football, and maybe even volleyball. Throwing a, throwing a cross country event too, so uh, plenty going on this uh, this Saturday for the homecoming, the parade. If you're up oh, early fun. downtown, Paul, you can get your cup of coffee at the pharmacy and watch the parade go up Main Street. I'm all about the coffee and early, absolutely. Uh, no, I, and I want to watch football. I haven't seen a game yet. Eva! 
so I'll come up and, and bother you with uh, barbecue back baby ribs or whatever they're called. <laughs> I love those. <laughs> I wish you hadn't told me about them. They're so good. Yeah, our, our buddy Nikki Duwat will be firing up the grill, cooking them for you. Nikki Duwat and his wife he Janet. They... For us last week too. Did, was, he? did he stay for the whole game? Yeah, he was there for the whole game. He did yeah, the whole thing. I I heard him when I turned it on. Yeah. He's great. He's got a lot of personality. His wife does an outstanding job as well. They're an asset to this community. We wish the best and to fun. his mom. I heard. I heard his mom is sick. Yeah. No.